self-defense training video, you're gonna discover how to use a self-defense hiking stick or walking stick. I'll be using the Japanese Joe, which I also use to hike with. This is the perfect length for a hiking stick or a hiking staff. You simply hold it in your hand, put it between you and the threat, and you're going to thrust. That's the first technique. The first thing I want you to learn is that you're gonna use the length of your walking stick, your self-defense walking stick, to create distance between yourself and the threat. The first thing that you do is point your thumb at the threat, putting it in the backhand, and now you can step in and thrust, you can stand and thrust, and the second kind of strike is going to be coming down from your shoulder. So you bring it to the same shoulder that keeps it between you and the threat. That's an important principle of self-defense, using the walking stick. So a self-defense walking stick puts between you, or you put it between you and the threat. I want you to thrust first, and then come through and strike. Think about what you can remove or destroy for self-defense. This is a self-defense principle, using violence to stop a violent attack. Somebody with a knife, bigger attacker, violent assault, whatever the situation is, as a modern defender, you put this between you and the threat. You wanna thrust, bring it from your shoulder, and then bring that backhand straight through like a punch to the jaw. That's going to force the back side of this staff to come through, hitting with full speed and power. So you start with putting it between you and the threat, create distance, strike with this angular strike coming from your shoulder. Remember, it comes from your shoulder, so it stays between you and the threat. You bring it too high, they're gonna wrap you up or they close the distance. You lose power, you lose the opportunity to strike. From here, you're simply pushing out as it comes down. The other hand is pulling this way. I have two hands on my walking stick. My self-defense walking stick creates maximum power. Back hand through. And then I want you to bring this down over the top. So starting with the staff between you and the threat, point your thumb, get it in the back hand, thrust to create distance, stop their advance, come in with this downward angular strike from your shoulder, hitting anything, temple, neck, shoulder, anything you can remove or destroy for self-defense. Their ability to see you, their ability to be awake, their ability to breathe temporarily, permanently when you go through the middle midsection or the, the uh, solar plexus or the throat. Then your backhand comes through, breaking that jaw, breaking the elbow, breaking a joint, and then straight down on top, ideally ending the fight. Now the staff, the walking stick, has, happens to be in your backhand, you're going to lift your hand so that it's coming next to your ear. This is a very simple, I wanna keep it very simple. When you learn self-defense walking stick using a Japanese Joe or maybe it's a Brazos walking stick. I know a lot of you like those. I put the link below to both of these. I like this one. It's made out of hickory and I carry it with me when I go on long hikes. I've always carried a Joe staff because it's the perfect length. It's the same length as a walking stick and the only thing that makes it a walking stick or a staff is what you want to call it. So it doesn't really matter what it is, as long as it works for you. It's in the back hand now, lift, and that's going to bring it into the front hand. And there's the thrust done in a little bit different way. Before I was thrusting here, now I'm thrusting here. Everything else is going to be pretty much the same. It's in the back hand, I'm going to thrust through, I'm going to bring this down here, across the top, and straight down on top of the head. From here, thrust here, come from the shoulder, come from the backside, come down over the top, or if you wanted, you could do similar to a bayonet attack or a rifle butt strike for self-defense. These are all modern defender techniques, meaning that as a person in the modern world who doesn't have a lot of options, you wanna go for a hike, you wanna stay safe, you wanna be safe outdoors, or you wanna be safe in your neighborhood. You carry a stick, that's just, you know, it helps you get around, but it's also for self-defense. It's a safety tool, a safety device. Lift here, strike here, bring it through, bring it through, thrust, bring it down on top. One, both, all, just pick out of any of those techniques. There's no way to do it wrong as long as you are winning the fight for self-defense. Principles of self-defense are more important than tactics or techniques. Principles of self-defense are get in a better position, pay attention to what's happening around you. Create distance when you can. Use the most explosive, immediate, and direct strikes that you can do. These are just a few things. You can practice and figure out some more or watch these videos. I teach a lot of these techniques. I'm behind it, point the thumb, thrust, 
angle, horizontal, vertical, and I can even thrust again, lift him up off the ground. I can come up with this swinging strike, hitting under the chin, hitting under the gro or into the groin. I can swing down with all those same. This is the same technique here. Now I can bring it to the leg or bring it down if it's a vicious animal, if you're being attacked by a pit bull who has been abused and they're off the chain and you're in your neighborhood or you're out for a hike and it's a wild animal, a ferocious animal, doesn't matter. You just change the direction and the angle of your basic strikes for self-defense. Using a self-defense walking stick is best when you keep it super duper simple. Good morning, it's good to see you. W9 UFO, I saw a lot of you um, making comments earlier. I just, I wanted to get this out real quick. I didn't have a lot of time. I get these little windows now. My schedule has gone, but I still want to train with you. And I made a commitment. I'm starting to carve out some more time so we can do some of these longer live streams and work on some of the other weapons and some of the other open hand self-defense. But I wanted to talk about hiking stick self-defense, walking stick self-defense. It's, it's one of my favorite things to talk about because if you train with a Japanese Joe, you can now transfer that, translate that. Hello, Brandon, it's good to see you, buddy. You can turn that into a hiking stick, a walking stick, or like I said, use your Joe staff, carry it with you, use it as a hiking stick, and then you have both. Matthew, it's good to see him. Yeah, Matthew says, get him in the shins. Um, oh, one of my favorite techniques, this position. I showed you how to point your thumb. I showed you how to bring your uh, back hand up. Either way, it gets it into a two-handed self-defense fighting situation, but you might just be standing here like in that first movie with Eddie Murphy uh, uh, coming to America and Samuel L. Jackson comes in, he's, he's causing all kinds of havoc and mayhem in the restaurant and he's telling the, uh, the mild-mannered prince of, uh, it's not Wakanda, what is it? <laughs> oh, I say, I say the wrong one. Anyway, and he says, you know, you're, you're, you're scaring these good people. Get out of here. Don't be a, such a jerk. And a guy says, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do to you what I was going to do to them. Good morning. It's good to see Jack. Hello, Doug. Good to see you, Doug. And he's standing there, and the guy's got the shotgun, and he's, he's messing with people, and he just simply brings it up. That's a valid strike. Look at this real quick. I'm going to finish with this. I want you to see this real quick. I'm going to go down. I need a better camera situation, cameraman. That's his groin, right? That's his private parts. You're standing here for self-defense. The guy's closing the distance. He's getting mouthy. You feel unsafe. You, you know you're going to have to defend yourself. Maybe you see him start to produce a weapon, and you tell him, back up, you're getting too close, and you were trying to stand and stay calm and stay in control, and you're breathing, and you're holding your walking stick like this. You can just now immediately pop it, right? Straight up into the groin. That could be your first, your opening self-defense move. From here, you can step into those thrusts. From here, you can bring it around, and you can sweep down and strike the leg. You can come here, you can keep it low. You can strike down if that puts him on the ground. Or if you miss his groin, bring it up and strike him under the chin. Now you're right there, send it through the solar plexus, or if you need to, for self-defense, more permanent self-defense, go through the throat or bring it in here. Now you can start to shift it through your hands and change your hand position so that you can effectively defend yourself using your walking stick, your hiking stick. You guys have been awesome. I'll see you again later today in just a little bit. I gotta go run a couple errands, get my wig busted, get my hair cut, it's getting too thick, and I'll be right back, thank you.